Hey yo guys, Shepard Speed back here with another video. So I changed up my deck. I changed Rayquaza out for Empoleon. He is going to be the person that we are going to be testing out today. Um, obviously I don't have a water deck. Um, I don't have a mana fee. I don't even I could I have Greninja and Blastoise. I could make like a, a makeshift water deck, but I don't have mana fee who's really like the one, you know? So I'm um, looking at Empoleon, he's got a really good chance to hit Aqua Jet, which is a 32% gold move for 30. Uh, he's got Ice Beam, which is going to leave him frozen if he's knocked out for 70. Uh, and he's got a 90 Hydro Pump for 32%. So his ability is Diving Entry, and it says that when this Pokemon is moving uh, from the bench onto the field, it can only move one space away from the entry point, and then your turn ends. So I'm not sure if... A Pokemon can be on the entry point or if an opponent's Pokemon. I'm not sure about that So I'm gonna see if I can test it and see if we can you know really explain what Empoleon does Now like I said my deck is it's not synergistic for a water deck for Empoleon He's not the greatest uh, in this deck, but I do think that we can uh, test him out and see what he's really made of So we're coming up against okay some sort of sort of language I don't speak. Uh, Jolteon, Pikachu, Latias, Infernape, Flareon, and what was it? Did I see a Slacking? No, a Chestnut. What, what am I saying? Slacking. <laughs> Who's got a Slacking? Anyway, so he's got a Chestnut. So, it's my turn first. I feel like he's gonna go for the... Let me think here. I'm actually gonna go with Mew. I'm gonna go with Mew. Um, I don't know if he's going to try for the Latios Rush, but I'm pretty worried about it. That's why I put Mew, because he could get um, Shuttle Flip, and he could also get Hypersonic. Well, okay, so he's not going aggressive, which is surprising, to be honest. So, probably our strongest figure is Zap, so we're just going to go ahead and send Zap out and see what he's going to counter with. None of his Pokemon really beat Zap if he gets... Yeah, none of his... He's got a lot of... It. He's got a few gold attackers... Pikachu can get gold as well. Interesting. An interesting deck here. He is a lower rank, so I really need to take the victory on this. Um, but, you know, I, I never... I try not to get ahead of myself. You know, that anyone can pull out a really good strategy, and anyone can beat any rank. That doesn't really matter. Who knows? He could be tanking anyway. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and send Napoleon. Okay, so he can go there. I'm going to do a quick test. I'm going to put Whimsicott here, and then I'm going to see if Empoleon can still go out, even though Pokemon's on the entry point. <clears throat> okay, so he's going to attack me. Interesting. Oh my god, a miss? Are you kidding me, man? A miss? Uh, we're going to go ahead and challenge that with Frisian. And we're going to end our turn. I think he's going to Hurdle. But if he does, I got Whimsy to go on the goal, so I'm not too, too worried. Um, and he can just waste his hurdle jump. I'm sure he's got... Yeah, okay, he's only got one. He's running two double chances, two X attacks. You're going to X attack Rizian? Very, very interesting decision because... Okay, so I got Swords of Justice, so that worked out because he got a dodge. So, okay, let's see if Empoleon... Okay, so he can still go on the left, so it doesn't matter if... Um, it doesn't matter if, he, if like, if your Pokemon's on the entry point. I don't know yet if the opponent's Pokemon's on the entry point. I would assume not, but then again, I don't know, because Mag... Uh, what's his name? Heatran has the Magma. It's not Magma. It's called... Oh, Surprise Strike. That is, that's what it's called. Uh, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and put Magikarp down there. And now we're going to have to start making some offensive moves. We are down a poke, but I feel like we can salvage this game here, so... Let me see. I think I'm going to push with Whimsy on that left flank. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because he has the two... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. If I get caught in guard, it would... Oh, but that's... I was thinking of Blastoise's mirror coat. That's not too bad of a chance. I'm going to go ahead and go up here. End my turn. See what he does. Because if he doesn't... Um... Ah, oh, man. I was going to hurdle. I was indeed going to hurdle. So I have a pretty good shot to knock out this Pikachu. I'm not going to double chance. I'm going to save the double chance for later. I'm just going to see if we can get okay, a neutral turn. So not the greatest, but we can fly over him now if we want to. And I'm if I fly out, if I soar, I'm not fly over. If I soar over, then he's not going to. He's going to hurdle now. 
Okay. So the only is the only issue here is that if I if I just you put Magikarp on the goal, then Zap is gonna get surrounded. Then I would push with Verizian, but then he can just defend with like Infernape, Flareon, or Pikachu. So I'm actually gonna goal block with Zapdos. I don't really want to, but I just feel like saving him is better than him being knocked out so early. Um I don't know. You, you guys, let me know if, what, what you would have done. Okay, so now we're in an issue. Because now Whimsy's going to get surrounded. So, how do we fix this issue? I could attack Latios with Grizzian and see if I can either get a knockout or if I can Typhoon Slash. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not like, you know, I, I mean, it'd be bad if Rizian died, but at least it's not like the game, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and double chance and see if we can get the type of. He's gotta dodge. Dang it, man. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna have to take it. I mean, there's no way we beat a dodge. He rolled really lucky on that. Um, so now he's gonna surround Whimsy, and we are in a pickle. We are definitely in a pickle. I think at this point in time, because of the current situation, I'm going to try and push Magikarp, maybe? Let's see. Yep, yeah, he's gonna get this around. I really need to knock out Latios, honestly. I'm actually gonna put Verizian here and end my turn because I don't I don't want Ver or Latios to even get close because he's he's really strong. So Pikachu's gonna be there. I'm gonna go ahead and push with Magikarp up top. And I can proc the Evo, and honestly, I could beat these guys with Magikarp, so I am going to go ahead and see if I can proc the Evolution on Infernape, and get the Gyarados, get the mighty Gyarados. Nope, we're not going to get it. We get a dodge. That's actually really unfortunate. I do have a Hurdle Jump, so I could Hurdle this Infernape. He, d he would defend with Flareon. But then I could get surrounded by Chestnut, so that's not a good idea. That's not that's not a good look. Uh, Empoleon is actually doing nothing. We need to figure out how Empoleon can do something. Can he knock out Flareon? Oh, he could he could easily knock out Flareon if he doesn't hit the Focus Energy. Okay, I'm gonna go for it again. I'm gonna go for the for the. Oh, there it is. The Mock Punch, 40 against the Flail. So we're gonna get the precious Gyarados. Now, now we're cooking. So the question is, do we attack Infernape or? F yeah, we're gonna attack Flareon because Infernape has gold. So this is really this is the key right here. I have to hit a Hyper Beam or a Storm. I have to knock out Flareon because if not, Gyarados is gonna get surrounded. And okay, I got a Hyper Beam, so that works. That works for me. Um, he's gonna get burned though. At this point, let's see what he does here. Because he doesn't have any more hurdle jumps. So he's just going to defend with Infernape. Very, very interesting. I'm definitely going to see if I can just get the Storm right now. Or the Hyper Beam and win. Oh no, Storm is a miss. Oh, we still got it, guys. Oh my god. We got the 100 Hyper Beam against the Drive Kick. It's going to knock him out. He has to knock out uh, Gyarados at this point. Which, honestly, he could easily do. Uh... Because I have a humongous miss. I have a humongous miss. And actually, okay, he, I I think, dang it, I think he's gonna get knocked out unless unless this chestnut hits a miss. He's gonna hit a spiky shield, which means that he's gonna get weight. At least he's not knocked out. Let's see where he puts him. Let's see where he puts my little Gyarados. I'm d I don't know where he's gonna go. So. He's going to have a weight, which means I'm going to have to push with Empoleon. Uh, he can try and... Okay, interesting decision. Let's go ahead and go there. He's going to have to go on the goal now. You're going to have to go on the goal, mate. There, there it is. And I don't even... I'm not even going to attack with Gyarados. I'm just going to threaten this around. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're gonna see. He's gonna have to now. He's gonna have to knock out Gyarados. Um, 
which I don't really, I mean, he could easily do, but he could get spiky shield again, I don't know. Man, that burn on Gyarados is actually pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. He got like a 50%, like, well, like, like 46 maybe percent chance of a miss. That's, that's terrible. Okay, you, that was a mistake, my friend. I still have a hurdle jump. That was a mistake, my friend. I do apologize, but I'm going to take the W. And Polion's going to get this around. So we didn't really test him um, all that much, but, I mean, he was kind of cool. I think he might, he might make the thumbnail, but... I don't know if he's really, you know, all of that, all that in a bag of chips, you know what I'm saying? He's not, like, he's not cooking right now. He's just, he's just I. He's just I. If he can survive this, he'll get the thumbnail. Oh, he survived. He's gonna get it. Thumbnail of Empoleon, for sure. And we're gonna take the victory with him. He's gonna get our first W. His first match, well, I think, no, I have used him once before. His second match, and he's gotten the victory. That was a pretty good match, guys. Honestly, a pretty good match. It was against a lower-ranked player, but I'll t I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that straight victory. And we're at monthly ranking of 1-1-1. One, one, one. I'm sorry, 2-1-1-1, one, 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 which is actually pretty bad. I'm actually going to take a quick look at my ranking um, because I'm going to see if maybe today I can push... Oh, my God, 8,000? I've, I've fallen. I have indeed fallen. So I need to get to at least 15 booster tickets. I don't know if it's going to be possible for me to get the 20. It was a few days ago. I guess I've fallen too much. Um, but with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. If you guys like Empoleon, you let me know if you guys are using him, and let me know if you're not using him in a water deck. I know he's like I know he's pretty good in a water deck. I just want to see if anyone's just using him for fun. All right, guys, that's Shepard Speed signing out.